comes from uh, one of the first radio ballads uh, called the Ballad of John Axon. And John Axon was a, a heroic engine driver in the days of steam trains. And he was driving his steam train um, from a place called Buxton in Derbyshire to Chapel on the Frith. And, um, and he was driving this heavy uh, goods train up the incline out of Buxton on full throttle. And when he got to the top and started to go down the other side, he realised that the, 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 uh, the engine was on full throttle and he couldn't turn it off and the brake failed and all that stuff. And this train was hurtling down the incline to, towards Chapel on the Frith station. Um, and, and there was loads of people at the station. So he actually climbed out of his engine and he hung on the outside of this engine and he alerted one of the signal box men as he went past the, the signal box. And, uh, and they managed to get a message down to the station and they got everybody off the station. And the train smashed into the station and there was only John Axon killed. He saved lots of lives that day. Mm. And the whole of the radio ballad um, is, is dedicated to John Axon's life. And this song, the Song of the Iron Road, is about all the things that you had to learn how to do if you were ambitious enough to want to be an engine driver in those days. How you couldn't just be an engine driver. You had to start off at the bottom. You had to work, work in the engine sheds first, just doing the menial tasks. Then you would get to become a footplate man for a while, and then after a long, uh, a long time doing all of that stuff, you might just get your hands um, on the uh, on the steering wheel and the gear stick and that of the train. <laughs> Have we got any railway enthusiasts in here tonight? <laughs> Have we? No, they have got, they have, they have got uh, six-speed diesels, you know, Volkswagen. Um, um, Anyway, it's that, that's what it does. And, and I, I've actually continued to do this song over the years by myself since Stu and I stopped working together. But it's, it's been a great pleasure on this tour to do it with him again because it always had the added feature uh, of him who, uh, he does a fantastic impersonation of a steam train using only the acoustic bass guitar. It's a lot better than that. And what, so what will happen is you'll, you'll actually hear the unmistakable sound of a train approaching from the distance. And, um, <laughs> and it'll, it'll, it'll get close, it'll, it'll, far enough, it'll stop here in, in front of the microphone, it's just long enough for us to sing the song and then it'll head off generally in the direction of whatever's up there. Um, now this has actually got some bits you can join in with as well, I forgot to tell you. you like it, this one. Three bits you can join in with. Um, the first bit comes after the second verse, it goes, you're a sweeper upper, brewer upper, shovel swinger, spanner bringer, steam razor, fire dropper, general cook and bottle washer. The second bit comes after the fourth verse, it goes, so it's swing your shovel, at the double, watch the clock, give her a rock, steam raisin, sweat running, back here in bone shaking. And the third bit comes after the sixth verse, and that goes, with a loco drivers, early risers, lodge and turners, mile burners, 11 quid a week earners. See? Easy. If you think it's a bit too long to remember, too difficult, just sing, Oh, what the keel come down the river, that ah, me dear laddie might see. <laughs> now, there's, a, there's an easy bit if you want to join in. You listen to the last line of every verse and then sing it straight back. Some of the Iron Road.
during your time when the local shed had to share all the troubles. And then on the old foot legs, you're the driver's mate. And then you're married to a lousy shovel. Oh, sing it. And then you're married to a lousy shovel. Well, let's check the water, check the tools, and shut that bloody core then. And we're the 